Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on December the 24th, 2020. Trump vetoes defense budget for a lack of compliance. U.S. President Donald Trump on Wednesday carried out his first threat and vetoed the U.S. defense budget bill and DAA passed earlier by both parties in Congress, increasing the risks of a government shutdown. The president's main complaints about the bill are that it includes renaming American military bases named after Confederate generals and does not repeal provisions that protect large IT companies from liability for information published on their platforms. Trump is also demanding changes to another bill caused by Congress. A $2.3 trillion funding program for the federal government. If the outgoing president also blocks this program, a number of U.S. agencies could shut down next week for a lack of funding. Asian market rises on Brexit trade deal optimism. Asia-Pacific stock indexes were mostly up Thursday morning as the prospect of a Brexit deal gives the market a boost even before Christmas. Japan's Nikkei 225 added 0.53%, Australia's S&P ASX 200 index added 0.43%. Hong Kong's Hansen index rose 0.22%. Britain and the European Union were on the verge of a narrow trade deal on Thursday. Sources in London and Brussels said the deal was closed, as British Prime Minister Boris Johnson held a late-night conference call with his cabinet and negotiators in Brussels discussed numerous legal texts related to trade. Moreover, South Korea's Kospi rose 0.86%. The countries has signed agreements with Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson to import COVID-19 vaccine to vaccinate up to 16 million people. China launches an investigation probe into Alibaba. China's state administration for market regulation has launched an investigation into online retailer Alibaba Group holding LTD, which is suspected of entering into exclusive dealing agreements and other monopolistic activities, regulators said on Thursday. In addition, the People's Bank of China and three other state financial regulators will hold talks with Ant Group over the next few days. Ant is China's largest financial technology company and operator of the popular payment service Alipay. Alibaba currently owns 33% of Ant's shares. Thus, China is extending harsh pressure on one of the country's largest and most powerful business empires by taking actions against two of billionaire Jack Ma's precious business. Oil rises on shrinking U.S. stocks and U.K. deal hopes. Oil rose for a second day Thursday in light holiday trading as a decline in U.S. crude and gasoline inventories raised hopes for a demand while hints of an impending Brexit deal boosted investors' appetite for risk. Brent crude futures rose 0.7 percent to $51.58 a barrel, while U.S. WTI crude futures rose 0.6 percent to $48.43. Both contracts were up more than 2 percent on Wednesday. U.S. crude oil inventories fell by 562,000 barrels in a week to 499.5 million barrels, the Energy Information Administration said Wednesday. In addition, oil prices also received support from news that Britain and the European Union are on the verge of a narrow trade deal Thursday from a chaotic final to a Brexit split.